Mabel was too long at the window. The raven had since flown away above the treetops. The sun had slipped behind a mountain and the light had fallen flat. The branches were bare, the grass yellowed gray. Not a single snowflake. It was as if everything fine and glittering had been ground from the world and swept away as dust. November was here, and it frightened her because she knew what it brought. Cold upon the valley, like a coming death. Glacial wind through the cracks between the cabin logs. But most of all, darkness. Darkness so complete, even the pale-lit hours would be choked. She entered last winter blind, not knowing what to expect in this new, hard land. Now she knew. By December, the sun would rise just before noon and skirt the mountaintops for a few hours of twilight before sinking again. Mabel would move in and out of sleep as she sat in a chair beside the wood stove. She would not pick up any of her favorite books. The pages would be lifeless. She would not draw. What would there be to capture in her sketchbook? Dull skies, shadowy corners. It would become harder and harder to leave the warm bed each morning. She would stumble about in a walking sleep, scrape together meals and drape wet laundry around the cabin. Jack would struggle to keep the animals alive. The days would run together, winter's stranglehold tightening. All her life, she had believed in something more, in the mystery that shape shifted at the edge of her senses. It was the flutter of moth wings on glass and the promise of river nymphs in the dappled creek beds.